Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends and subscribers. This is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I'm working on a tutorial series of making a blog application using Laravel 5.4. In my last video I uh, completed the functionality of, of uh, displaying a pagination and filtering the records based on category or filtering the posts based on their respective categories. Okay. And in this video I'll be going to discuss about how to like a post how to dislike a post what happens um, when a uh, user click on likes the uh, value gets incremented from 0 to 1 and what happens when, when uh, dislike button is clicked the value of dislike uh, gets incremented by 1 ok so now for that uh, first we need to uh, count the values count, uh, count uh, whether we have any uh, count value for uh, whether we are having any like value for our like uh, post link uh, and for uh, dislike post link okay. for that we need to go to our post controller and then we need to go to our view because this is a view file view dot uh, dot php so we need to go to post dot post controller dot php and we need to find a function called as view okay here we need to post find okay okay here we need to find uh, for this particular post for this particular post we are having any like uh, in our uh, like table inside our database okay this is our like okay so right now we don't have any records in our like table okay so it will return us the zero okay, so let's do this post like post equals to post of find and we need to select this post id uh, we need to find whether in our table uh, like table we are having any like uh, likes for this particular post id okay so now and now we need to uh, count the like like counter equals to need to use like model like where where post id post id is equals to equals to equals to this like post id okay, copy this and paste here okay. okay now save it and let's check what it's going to uh, it will return zero copy and paste here and exit okay now let's go to our project and refresh okay we have not imported our like model let's come here copy and use like okay now refresh okay Okay, here it is. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, I'm getting uh, a zero or null because we don't have any records in our like table. Okay, so we will just comment this out. Okay, and now refresh. And now let's click a uh, let's build a functionality of incrementing a value from 0 to 1 whenever user click on this link. Okay, so let's come here. Okay, where is that? We need to go to our view. 
okay so whenever user click on this link uh, it should be directed to like then post id like this like slash two okay now we need to set this route in our web.php route get like and then like id and then post controller and like function okay we need to create a function with a name called as like inside our post controller public function like okay and then we need to pass the id we need to pass the post id here to which the user has liked so let's it has id and try to return that id rather refresh okay i'm getting the uh, id of that post okay see i'm I click on politics and i okay Okay, go to home page and if I click on this view link, I will get that post and if I click on this like, I will get the ID of that post. Okay, so now let's write, we need to get the logged in user ID first because uh, the whosoever is liking uh, the post uh, we need to store the user id of that user or the logged in user logged in user first to auth we need to use auth to get the user details to get the logged in user details then id okay and then we need to create a like user like where okay. okay we need to uh, get the details of the user who has liked so that uh, the user who has already liked the post should not like the post one more, one more time so for that we need to take the user from the database user id where user id is equals to this logged in user uh, logged in user in user and post id and post id is this id okay. post id okay so so we should avoid uh, avoid the situation or the scenario of clicking on like button twice uh, by the uh, logged in user okay so if i have if i have liked any post once then i should not like the post second time so for that i am uh, searching the record in the like table um, of the person who has liked the post okay if uh, if one if i if any user has liked the post that if one user has liked the post that means uh, that same person cannot like the post again so for that i am getting the details of the person who has liked the post here using this where condition and then i will get first okay i will getting the first occurrence of that user and here i am checking i will check if I don't have any record inside my like table if none of the user has liked the post then uh, 
and checking the user, the user id if the table like table if the record in the like table is not having any uh, likes or none of the user has liked the table then then i will uh, use user id equals to auth id okay user id and then email email and then post id post id equals to uh, this id and then i will create a object of like model okay and then i will pass these uh, values to our uh, object user id is like user id equals to this user id okay Let's copy this and email and then post id okay and then i will save the entry for my like and then i will return return redirect redirect to the same page view slash dollar of id okay then else in else case also i will return to the same page okay so now what i'm doing is uh, I'm here I'm taking the ID whenever user click on the like button uh, ID will be sent uh, to the as an get request to here and and the appropriate function like which is defined inside post controller will get called here I will be receiving the ID and I'm checking I'm getting the details of the logged in user here it will hold the user ID of the logged in user and I'm checking in my database whether uh, any user uh, any um, whether the logged in user has already liked the post or not whether i am having any record in my like table on the user uh, for that post for that post in my like table okay if if i am having the record then i will not allow the same person to like the post again okay if now if i am not having any like entry for that particular post in my database then i'll be uh, getting the user id of that login user i'm getting the email of that login user and i'm getting the post id of that post to which that user is uh, clicking or liking and then i'll storing that inside my like table okay now let's refresh the page you know if i click on like okay so okay now if uh, let's see now if i click on like button then let's go to our like table okay you can see here a record is added an entry is added for that post for the post id 5 user 1 has uh, have given a thumbs up okay so now i want to display this count inside my view okay here inside my view uh, at the very beginning of this tutorial i had created the like count so i will pass this to my View. copy and paste and now I will use this ok now I will uh, use this in my view save what is that like ok here Save it. 
Yeah, now refresh. Okay. I want uh, account. Okay, it's returning me the all the data. So I should change here to count because I want the count of the likes which has been made for that particular post. Okay, now I got the count. Okay, now I will uh, I will uh, click on the same uh, like button for the same post. If uh, if I try to click on the like button for the same post twice, now it will not do anything. Again, it will redirect it to the same page. Okay, now if I go back home, okay, and I will click on this view link view page and if I will click on this first post again count will get incremented and an entry will be made inside my likes table ok so now if I logged in as a different user now I will log in as an another user And other user can now like that post. See if I click on the like, now count will get a change incremented to uh, incremented by one, and it's displaying the two. And if I come to my table, and if I see, you see another entry is made inside my like table. Okay, so this is how we can create the like functionality. Okay, exactly the same uh, same way we can create the functionality for dislike. Okay, just copy and paste it here and then change it to dislike copy here paste and we need the dislike counter now copy paste here i will just change it to dislike our post id is equals to like okay and we need to call our dislike model okay Copy just like okay here view okay here I'm uh, I'm fetching the record from the dislike table okay now the same thing I have to do for the dislike I need just need to copy and paste the same code and I need to change this to dislike okay and this one also dislike okay let's first comment this and return dollar id save it and now if i refresh the page and if i try to click on this dislike i will get the post id of that uh, id of that post to which i am going to uh, dislike okay so i will just remove this okay so now everything is uh, copied i just changes the name of my table okay and now let's refresh and now if i click on the dislike Okay, let's go back. Let's go to our dislike table. Okay, an entry is made. Okay, I haven't. I have not printed printed that count. Okay, so you can see when I click on the dislike here, an entry has been made for that particular user uh, for that post inside our dislike table. Now I want to find view. Okay, we need to paste this dislike counter inside our view okay here dislike uh, yeah paste it and now if I refresh the page I'll get okay dislike counter undefined variable dislike counter Like 
dislike our post ID. Okay, let's just print this here for return. Exit. Okay. Refresh. Okay, display count as one. Okay, yeah, I haven't uh, sent this uh, value to my view and I'm trying to access this value without uh, passing this value to my view. Just copy, paste here, and now it will return me the count on the po on this post. Okay, see, you know, if I the same user tries to click on the dislike again, it will nothing will happen. Uh, again, let's log out and and try to log in as an another user and now if i click on this view post and if i click on this uh, post since i am the second user now it will take the value and dislike will be incremented by two okay so this is how we can build the functionality of like and dislike uh, okay I hope you like this video. I hope you got some useful information out of this video. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, click on like button, share it with your friends, and I will see you guys in my next video where I'll be completing the functionality of commenting a blog post. Okay, thanks for watching.